Hello friends, it is me and Jason's shoulder welcoming you to our day. <laughs> we, let me turn this down here really quick. We just dropped the kids off at their friend's house. It's raining, it's always raining. They're playing in the garage. Yeah, they're playing in the garage. There's oh, Nate and Mason, that's cute. He's getting his gym class. That's cute. So we're both kind of in a funk. He was doing some packaging for his brother's company. Yeah, key leaves. And I was doing my little diamond painting that is super addictive. I don't have any videos to edit. It's been just sort of a, after the holidays, kind of a come down normal, like. Yeah, and then the other day with everything that went down in DC, it just kind of put me in a funk. I don't know about him, but I just don't even want to pick up the camera. And the only reason why I'm picking it up today is to explain that, that there might be a lull in videos. Partially because of that, partially, you know, partially because there's just nothing going on because the kids are in school and it's raining and kind of settle them back into the routine. Yeah, we have our trip coming up, but I suddenly have like anxiety that Maui is going to shut back down and I'm just hoping that their It'll be the high time. peak from the, of their cases from the holidays settles back down as people aren't there visiting right now because it's not really like a time to visit. So I, I want and I am planning all the different things that go into like planning a big vacation, but in the back of my mind, I don't want to like completely follow through on them because I, I'm suddenly getting anxious that I it's going to cancel for some reason and... We've been conditioned to disappointment. Yeah, not only... Not in a year of disappointment. Yeah, and that as well as we... As someone asked me once, and I think we've mentioned this before, we have snafus that happen on our vacations that are pretty big. Like we had to drive to California to catch a flight. Like we Thanks to United screwing us. Right, so like big things happen to mess up our travel plans, but we really yeah, power- Yeah, driving to California means 20, 20, 20 hours, hours in the car. Driving just to get to an airport so we could leave the next day. Leave a comment below if you haven't heard that story. Maybe we'll do a storytelling um, with that story. But big things happen with our, our travel. We always power through them. We always make things happen. We always like, you know, end up everything works out in the end. But man, 2020 is really like throwing a lot of kinks into the picture and so I'm really hoping that we can just get on those planes and just get there but there's so much that is gonna have to happen to get there like to even get to the plane and so I'm, I don't even want to start packing my bag normally I would start packing my bags and he knows that I'm that crazy yeah, More, definitely that crazy yeah but I don't even want to do that right now Anyway, so that's kind of what's going through our head, and we have a sadness for what happened um, in D.C. the other day. I don't care what spectrum you're on with this whole thing. That was wrong. It was just wrong on every level, and it's weighing heavy on our hearts and with our, you know, friends. Anyway, and I don't, and the problem is that we don't have a, a ton of people that we can talk to because political, political conversations are so... What is the word I want? I'm not going to leave any of this in. Oh, alright. I'm not going to leave any of what he just said in. That's why we can't talk about That's it. That's why we can't talk about it. Not because of what I said, but because she's worried about what the people hear. It's hard because... Just whatever. It's just hard. England, England is like going into their lockdown with Phil for you guys. Yeah. All around the world, a lot of countries are, you know, working their best to get through this COVID thing. I mean, it's not over yet. No. Not over. Uh, I mean, we just got the map of vaccines for Washington State. Our group of, we don't have any health conditions and we're not over 65. We're not even on the schedule yet. We're not even on the schedule. No, there's no like. And so, no and that's too. the end of their schedule runs to May. And so we're not even on it to get any vaccine until like the summer. So I know everyone else is going through this. It's just so weird. And um, leave your comments below on what you're going through and how you're managing. Yeah. You know, it's not all about us. We enjoy our comments and yeah. And, and I want you guys to know, I want you guys to know that like, and maybe you don't want us to share with our kids, you know, what you're going through, but we tell our kids that we have new friends here on this channel that we have met and we pray for you guys and we tell them, you know, this person's, you know, struggling. Their husband's not doing so well. And they're like, oh, we, you know, we, we wish them well. And so it's not just Jason and I that like, think of you guys our kids do too and they we tell them your thoughtful comments of them whether it's their accomplishments or learning to drive or that they've fractured their hand we tell them your thoughts of them and they appreciate it you know so just know that we're 
kind of in a funk and it's a depressing time in Washington during the winter anyway so it's all kind of culminating and if I didn't have a trip coming up I we would be I would be in a more of a depressive state than I am now do we know where we're going right now go to the bank oh <laughs> going back to what we started out with this we just got in the car we just got in the car today we dropped the kids off to go play with their friends during their lunch recess and we just got in the car we have one errand to run and we're just gonna do something for ourselves maybe grab something to eat maybe go for a drive we wanted to fly the drone get him to practice we got his attachment to attach his phone maybe we'll just go storm government building Who knows? okay <laughs> too soon dude too too soon too uh, soon uh, okay, too stop soon. he is being extremely sarcastic <laughs> by the way I'm gonna turn this off before he says something. I read something. somewhere that you know I should be distraught, so I should go storm a building. I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> he needs to be shut off. Back in a bit. All right, you know your day is boring when the sight of the creamy oatmeals at Costco is like the top of your day. They haven't had these at Costco ever. I used to buy these in like the 10 packs at the grocery store, so super good find. Also, we just discovered, I don't know why we didn't ever see this at the grocery store, probably because we don't buy freezer meals at the grocery store, but a pack of this same mac and cheese at the grocery store in a size, not a half of it, a quarter of the size of this one is the same price as this large one from Costco. Insane. So it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 6, 6.30 probably, and what happens when your kids come home, well Chelsea and Ashley came home just laughing and their friend's mom said that they had a dance party and they did art projects all afternoon. We gave her one of the diamond kits for her to do in her own time when our girls can't hang out with her because she's an only child. They come home and they're all giggly and they're like, can we have a pizza night? And Jason and I are just suckers and they were so happy. They're in the shower right now. So we're like, all right, fine, we'll go get pizza. And Pizza Hut far enough away that they don't deliver. So Jason and I are doing another little car date and going to get pizza for our girls. Cause you don't want to cook. Cause I don't want to cook. Yes. When this is all you can do, like why not? Like I just, I know it's waste, wasted money, but. I was open to cooking, but. I was open to cooking too, but they were just so wanting to have a pizza night movie night even though there's no movie to watch they're just like that's what they want so thank you pizza hut where's the sign oh i can't get a little oh where is it oh they don't even have one on the front of the store that's kind of lame all right so let's see if the girls are at all excited about this if they're not excited we're not gonna get pizza again for a while <laughs> let's see if they're excited i don't even know that they knew we left so girls Are you excited to have pizza? Okay, bring it to the kitchen though. You can have, we'll have a movie night, okay? But get a plate. I'm really tired. Y'all, you're tired? And it's still in my it's hair. What's in your share? The chalk. Oh, you did chalk in your hair today? Yeah, chalk. Uh, yeah, chalk. Well, did you use shampoo and conditioner? No. She got in the back. <sighs> Why didn't you shampoo and... <sighs> Alright, well, I'll take that mild excitement, but now I gotta tell Ashley to like shower again. No. I'm yes, not. you are. So they put chalk in her hair, like, like hair chalk or whatever, but then she didn't actually wash it out. Goober. But we're gonna watch a show. I keep looking for Crudes, but I can't find it on Netflix. Crudes 2, yeah. So it's been three days? What day is today? Yeah, it's been three days since I filmed that last day. Um. Maybe three days, two days, I don't even remember. Our days look kind of the same in terms of um, I'm doing my little <laughs> kit, watching a show, I get my chores done. So yesterday I guess was Saturday and I got my Saturday chores done, cleaned the house, vacuumed the whole house. I don't know why Jason's vacuuming out there because I've literally vacuumed the entire house, including all the kids' bedrooms, but it's Sunday and he's anxious and doesn't has something for him to do. I'm not because I've got my little kit to do because I don't have anything else to do. Like this is just turned into a hobby of something to do. We are trying to just still stay in our own unit, in our own family and stay safe. And so that means there's not much to do. So I'm just gonna end 
this video here because like we haven't done anything. I, we've gone out to try and get drone shot twice now and it didn't work. So that's what I think I'm gonna go and do with him today. Practice and give him something to do. So I'm just gonna end this here. Like what are you guys doing during all of this? Like when you're having to stay home and try not to go out and you know, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're gonna do to entertain ourselves, but I'm gonna end this here. Take care. <laughs> Sorry it's so boring. I wish I could bring you better content. That's I think why we're trying to get the drone shit footage and at least change it up that way. So you don't have to just sit and stare at our face. You can do <laughs> watch the scenery. But anyway, like he's interrupting me in his little effort. Can you see him through the window? Maybe it's too much of a glare. But uh, I'll let him vacuum. When he gets like this, he cleans. So I'm, I'm, I don't, don't want to interrupt him very much. He's ready to like clean toilets, you guys. He's literally cleaning toilets after he does this vacuuming. I'm not going to interrupt him. I'm just going to turn on Netflix and let him like tinker because then my house is going to be even cleaner than it was yesterday. So. <laughs> Is that awful? He's gonna kill me when he watches this. But we know he doesn't watch everything. He just turns it on. So maybe he won't see it. <laughs> Take care. Bye guys.